ability for us to save money and to impact our employee base but still provide jobs is something that I have to support. We are in a tough economic time right now and we had a budget that was approved by the state legislature and it was approved in April. As of last week, the governor was cutting 4% out of that already. We will be receiving further cuts, I am absolutely convinced, in the next few months. The state representatives are telling us that further cuts are going to be coming. They will do their best to hold education harmless. But they are, pro they are projecting that they will not be able to hold us harmless throughout the entire coming fiscal year. Uh, at the Tuesday workshop, there was a presentation of restructuring health insurance as a substitute for the savings that would be um, presented through privatization. It's my opinion, it is not either or. It will be both. The superintendent is already looking at restructuring our health insurance program. It's just that it takes a while because this is part of collective bargaining. We just can't make a unilateral decision. But it is something that we're looking at. Everything in this district is on the table. So I'd like to repeat, it is not either or. It definitely is both. I did contact Duval County, and they are very pleased with GCA. They are saying they're a good company. They are doing a good job. They had a 91% retention rate last year. Um, and all of that being said, there is one issue for me that has made an appearance and I think we cannot ignore it, and that is the community um, influence. And that is the community's apparent distrust of the school system and of our finances. We are proposing to put a referendum on the ballot in November because in two years we are absolutely going to need that money to maintain the education for our students. And we need the community buy-in. We need to earn the faith of our community. And we have the uh, certain groups and certain people in our community that are asking us to just slow this down a little bit that we have a Blue Ribbon Committee look at our finances and make a recommendation one way or the other. I have enough faith in our fiscal situation that that Blue Ribbon Committee will support what we are proposing. But what that does is it does show the community that we do have a true financial situation and it's pending on a financial crisis. So, um, for my motion will be to table this issue for three months. Three months would be based on four weeks to develop the Blue Ribbon Committee. Eight weeks for them to do their homework, to learn the financial education finance program for our district and then that would allow four weeks for that decision and our recommendation to go to the public before a vote at our October meeting. Um, I think it's absolutely crucial that we have community buy-in. Um, now, the that puts us in a precarious situation because we must have a balanced budget. Our fiscal year starts July the 1st. 
we must balance our budget. We have other options to, to balance the budget, but at this point I recommend that we take the necessary funds, the 2.9 million or whatever, out of our reserves, hoping that that's a temporary solution. But that will balance our budget to the point where we can have the community buy-in into this process and then take the vote in October. So my my motion is to table it until October. I will second that motion. 